When it comes to oral health, many people think about white, shiny teeth and fresh breath. But taking care of your mouth isn't just about looking good. It's about preventing serious conditions, including oral cancer. Dr. Ryan Smart, an oral and maxillofacial surgeon at Essentia Health in Fargo, treats people with oral cancer, including the mouth, throat, and tongue. Dr. Smart says symptoms can include prolonged and severe sore throats, unexplained earaches, unexpected weight loss, difficulty or pain swallowing, and a hoarse voice or change in the voice not associated with a cold or overuse. While these symptoms most likely aren't oral cancer, Dr. Smart says you should see your primary care doctor, ear, nose, and throat doctor, oral surgeon, or dentist if these symptoms persist. They can examine for signs of cancer, including white patches, sores, ulcers, and even tumors. If we see a, a, a white patch or we see a sore that's not healing or something like that, we'll give it some time. We'll try some different therapies, maybe a steroid topically or an antibiotic or a mouth rinse or something like that. And if it's not healing, then usually we recommend a biopsy. If the biopsy comes back positive for cancer, treatments vary and can include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. Dr. Smart says prevention is key. Avoid common risk factors, including heavy alcohol and tobacco use. And while those who smoke and drink might avoid the doctor, Dr. Smart says they shouldn't. As healthcare providers, we're not here to, to place judgment or make somebody feel bad. Um, but we're here to help. Dr. Smart says not to brush off symptoms as nothing. If something in your mouth isn't quite right, get it checked out. One of the most important things uh, for survival uh, in head and neck cancer or oral cavity squamous cell carcinoma is early detection. If you're going to have a tumor, it's best to know about it when it's very small and easily, easy managed. With this Essential Health Medical Insights, I'm Tracy Briggs.